Okay, so let's have a look at the Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 2 for 2022 and question 2. Part A. Points A8-4 and B-1-3 are the end points of a line segment AB. Find the coordinates of the point C which divides AB, <coughs> the line segment AB, internally in the ratio of 4 to 1. So once you see that you should recognize that that's going to be, that's going to involve one of the formula from your tables. Uh, so it involves this formula here. So the point we're looking for is going to be bx1 plus ax2 divided by b plus a and then by1 plus ay2 all over b plus a. So this is the point that we're looking for, the point C. Now we've got to work out here what A, B, X1, Y1 and so on are. So let's have a look at those. Well we have the point A which is 8 minus 4. We have the point B which is minus 1, 3. We've also got the ratio of 4 is to 1. So let's have a look at those. Well let's say 8 is X1 minus 4y1, x2, y2, and here we've got a and b. It's a good idea to write those out just so you can keep track of them as you're putting them into this formula here. So let's put them in then. So we have b which is 1 times x1 which is 8 plus a which is 4, x2 which is minus 1. That's all over b plus a so it's going to be 1 plus 4 and same thing over here, we've got 1 times y1, well y1 is minus 4, plus a which is 4, y2 which is 3, and then that's all divided by 1 plus 4, so that's our point there. So let's just work all of this out. So we've got 8 minus 4 on the top, so that's 4, and we've got 5 on the bottom, so that's 5. Over here we've got minus 4 plus 12, so that's 8, so here we've got 8 over 5, and that's it. So basically what we've got here is we have a line segment, uh, A, B, and we have this point here, four, 4 over 5, 8 over 5, somewhere along here, and it divides, it divides the line in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So this is our point C here that we've just found. Okay, so let's look at B. Okay, so the uh, line L has slope of M and contains the point QR where M, Q and R are real and they're all positive. Find the coordinates of the point where L cuts the Y axis in terms of M and Q. Well, this, is, this here is where it cuts the Y axis. I've already written it in there. Um, I put in the X coordinate there of zero. So let's start. What I'm going to do, there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, I'm going to look at y minus y1 is equal to m to x minus x1. So we're going to look at finding the equation of this line L. So y minus, I put in x1, y1 here, so or is y1. I'm going to put in or there. m is m. I told that in the question. We've got x minus q. So what I'm going to do is write this, rewrite this equation in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So let's do that then. I'll just multiply out this bracket here first. So you've got mx minus mq. So that'll give me y is equal to mx uh, minus mq plus r. So uh, that's really it. I mean, you've got y here is equal to mx plus c. So here we have or C, where it cuts the y-axis. So our answer then is, our answer then is, uh, well we can write it as, we put the or first, or, well we put the zero here and then put or minus mq here. Okay, so that's it. I mean, we'll do it the other way as well. Uh, let's see, we have so we have um, on the y-axis we know that x is equal to 0 on the y-axis. All we've got to do is take this equation here 
and put in 0 for x. So we've got y minus or is equal to m times 0 minus mq. So uh, y is equal to or minus mq. This just becomes 0. Bring the or over as well. And that's it. So we get the same answer in both cases. So it's 0 or minus mq. Okay, so that's it for that part of the question. Let's move down to the next one. The line K has slope minus two. The line J makes an angle of 30 degrees with K. Find one possible value of the slope of the line J. Okay, so give your answer in the form D plus E, root F or D and F are integers. Okay, so this, once you see this, the angle between two lines again, you should think about the, about the other formula that we've used when dealing with the line finding the angles between two lines when you're given the slopes. So the formula is the tan of the angle is equal to plus or minus m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 times m2. Now we only need one answer so we don't we're not going to use both of these I'm going to just take the positive uh, version here. So our two lines might look like this maybe uh, and we have our 30 degrees here so this would be this has a negative slope so this would be k and that has a slope of minus 2 uh, this one here is j and we got to work out we got to work out the slope here so let's let's work through this then the tan of theta so we're looking at the tan of 30 degrees is equal to, we're going to take the positive one here because we only need one solution. So m1 I'm going to take as minus 2 minus the other one we'll call it m2 so this is our m2 here. Divide that by 1 plus m1 which is minus 2 times the m2. Okay so that's our equation we've just got to solve for m2 now. Okay, so again, you can see tan 30 here, that's going to be 1 over root 3. You can get that as well on page 13 of your maths tables. So on the top, we've got minus 2 minus m2 divided by 1 minus 2m2. Uh, the next thing we want to do here is cross multiply. So top times bottom, so that gives me 1 minus 2m2 is equal to minus 2 root 3 minus uh, root 3 m2. Let's put the m2s together and the numbers on the other side. So let's bring this over. So this will give us, let's see, root 3 m2 minus 2 m2 is equal to minus 2 root 3 uh, minus 2 root 3 and then we've got minus 1 as well over here. Okay, so let's do the Next line then. So we've got two m2s here, so let's we only need one, so let's factorize that out. So we've got root 3 minus 2 times m2. So we minus 2 root 3 minus 1. And not quite the last line, but our m2 here is minus 2 root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 minus 2. Okay, so that's really our answer. However, when you look back here, it says give your answer in this particular form. So we don't want a fraction here because E, F and D are all integers here. Okay, so what we've got to do here really is just take the minus 2 root 3 minus 1. I'm going to divide by minus 2 plus root 3. All I've done is just swap these two around. I'm going to multiply by minus 2 minus root 3 over minus 2 minus root 3. So I've taken this denominator here multiplied by the conjugate over itself. So I've changed this sign here in front of the square root. This here is really just something divided by itself, so it's just 1. So I'm not changing this fraction. All I'm doing is multiplying it by 1. And the 1 is in this format, format here. And what you'll find when you do that is it will get rid of these square roots hopefully. So let's see what we get when we do all this. So we got minus 2 times minus 2 root 3, so that will give me 4 root 3. These two here then will give me again a plus 
2 root 3 times root 3, so that's 6 times, sorry, that's uh, 3 times 2, which is 6. Now we're going to do these ones, so this will give me plus 2, and then these two here will give me plus root 3. On the bottom now, we should get rid of the square roots. So minus 2 times minus 2, plus 4. So you've got plus 2 root 3, you've got minus 2 root 3, which is what we would expect. And then these two here finally will give me minus root 3 times root 3, which is just 3. Okay, so we're getting there. So we've got 4 root 3 plus 1 root 3, so that's 5 root 3. That's 6 plus 2, which is 8. And then on the bottom we've got 4 minus 3. These two will just give us 0. So our final answer then is, that's equal to, divide by 1, so it's just going to be 5 root 3 plus 8. Now we had to write this in the form d plus e root f, so we just got to switch these around. Uh, 8 plus 5 root 3. Okay, and that's it for this question.